Hello, Faye Bryant here with another daily devotion. Today we're looking at 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true, to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Let's talk. It's old. It's antiquated. It's not relevant to our times. We're different now. It just doesn't apply. The Bible. The Word of God. Many say that since it was written so long ago, it simply can't apply to us now because the writers didn't know what today would be like. Therefore, the book is irrelevant and cannot speak to our lives today. Even some who say they are Christians. Then this letter from Paul to Timothy comes along and declares that all scripture is inspired by God, all of it. God is not irrelevant. He knew from before light exactly what would be happening today, not only in America, but in Japan, Bahrain, Israel, and Chad, everywhere, everyone. He knew, and he wrote the book using humans to say what all would need. The words, concepts, and truths within the pages of the Bible are timeless. They reveal what is true and real so that when we are faced with what isn't, we will know. They remind us when we step into wrong, sounding the alarm we should listen to but often don't. And for those who know Jesus as Lord, the words are used to mature us and prepare us for the purpose for which God designed us. All in one cohesive unit, pages with ink, written over thousands of years, relevant when written, relevant today. We still see the sun rise and set. We experience man's generosity and oppression. We know of sin and wrong. Solomon, the wisest man ever, said there's nothing new under the sun. Everything that was is again. The things we see now have been before. Not the exact moments, no, but the acts, the emotions, the concepts. What drove people then drives them now. Believer, it's time we realize that when we say or think that the book is irrelevant or incomplete or untrue or partly true, we're saying those words about Jesus. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John's inspired description of Jesus. Let that sink in. How meaningless, how meaningless our salvation if Jesus is an antiquated notion a useless concept, an incomplete work, or simply a good idea. Let's choose to open ourselves to the Word for instruction, for truth, for guidance, for correction, for preparation for our purpose today. Then let's do it tomorrow and the day after and all the days after that. Coffee, Bible, Journal. In this time, we hear lots of folks say that the Bible isn't true or that it isn't relevant, that it doesn't matter to today, that it wasn't written for the people of today, just for the people back then, and all sorts of different things that are basically saying that it's just not right. They have that right and that privilege to be able to say that. When they do, the way I understand the scripture, when they do, they are saying that God is not right. And as I said, they're saying that Jesus is not. 
If we're going to say that the Bible is not completely true, then we're saying that Jesus is not completely true. That would mean that his salvation, that salvation through him is impossible. If he's only partly true, then he's only partly able to save us from sin. If he's untrue or irrelevant, then he's unable to save us from our sins. We can't have it both ways, folks. We can't. Either he is all God, all true, all, all, or he's not. It is an all or nothing kind of thing. Because in the, in the case of salvation, in the case of his sacrifice on the cross, if he was not true, if he was not real, if he was not God, then it didn't matter. It was just another man dying. And that's not the case. This is where faith comes in. Because the concept that one book written over thousands of years by tons of authors on one subject from many aspects, that it could be written, be cohesive, be true, and have meaning thousands of years later, it's incredible. It does not make sense. Does not make sense. But y'all, God doesn't make sense. Seriously. Where does God make sense? Not to our human minds. To his mind, he's completely, completely making sense. But we don't get it. And that's okay. That's where faith comes in. Where we believe what he says. And we believe that it's true. He said that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That doesn't change just because our culture changes. Just because our situation changes. It's time to stand on something. It's time to decide, do I believe the Bible completely, front to back, that it is truth as it is written, despite all the human hands that had anything to do with it, or do I not believe it? This is an all or nothing, folks. Either you believe it all or you believe nothing. I know that sounds harsh, but God says to believe the entirety of his word. He kind of punished Israel for not doing that. Either we have faith or we don't. We must choose. Today's the day to do that. I hope you enjoy these moments when we get together and we look at the word and we apply it to our lives. And I hope that if you have a thought about it, that you'll drop that in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. If you want to be sure that you don't miss one of these, click over here and subscribe. Make sure that you hit the little bell so you get a notification when these go live. And if you want to see some of the other videos I've done, click over here. Until next time, I'm Faye Bryant. Bye!